Welcome everyone to Big Sexy Reviews, Summer of Star Wars Episode 4. Today, we're going to be talking about Rogue One, a Star Wars story. This one was directed by Gareth Edwards. It stars Felicity Jones as Jyn Erso, Diego Luna as Cassian Andor, James Earl Jones returned to voice Darth Vader, and Alan Tudyk voicing K2SO. Rogue One was a phenomenal film. I was very excited. You know, the hype did not disappoint on this one. It was, from the day it was announced, I was ready for this. It was going to be a huge story telling you, like, going through the plot of the Rebel Alliance getting the Death Star plans, and the fact that they made this Star Wars film that w didn't, it didn't follow the normal formula of a Star Wars film, but it still felt like a Star Wars film. You know, being the lack, the lack of lightsaber battles and Jedi and everything else, they show that they can make extended universe stuff for this franchise. And I was, I was super impressed with this movie. I loved it. The score was different, yet it had the subtle nuances of the original scoring. Thank you to John Williams and being involved in that one. I overall, I loved Rogue One. It is a very, like, compelling story. It. They tie together Clone Wars and uh, Rebels into this to the saga story now because they brought in Saul Guerrero. He was featured heavily in the Clone well not heavily he was featured in the Clone Wars, and they just bring his character back and they make him have such a grand purpose for the story. It was really nice to see. My my only big issue with Rogue One is that you know I felt like the prop department kind of got a little lazy I guess you could say because like something like a lot of the Rebel Alliance weapons they were very obviously you know standard military weapons they weren't done up very well they they just you know painted a lot of stuff gray and give it a little black wa like a black paint wash that was my only problem I mean it's a very nitpicky thing but you have to like you have to really be paying attention to notice it but I thought you know for a series that has had such original looking weapons for so long I mean yeah the original movies they took they based them around some original and actual guns but they dressed them up so they didn't look so much like the original weapon they were this one all they really did was cut barrels off and you know just <laughs> they left magazines like they left they very telltale say, like things of the, the gun there that was my only real issue with the movie you know overall I gave this movie an eight and a half out of ten phenomenal film I loved it Everything was great. The action was great. They made a Star Wars war film. Like it, it looked like something you would see out of like the Star Wars Battlefront games, the PS2 one, PS2 and Xbox ones. Not the, not the new one. That one was not good. Hopefully Battlefront 2 will be better though. But yeah, Rogue One's a phenomenal film. I love it, and it, the fact that it ends right where um, Star Wars picks up at Episode Four is amazing. I thought that was a great way to do it just tie them right into each other. They just run so smoothly together. Awesome stuff. Have a good one, guys. Thanks, everyone, for watching. If you like this video, give us a like down below. If you, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification if you want to be notified ne the next time we post something. And if you want to see more videos like this or anything else you want me to review, leave it in the comments. I'll see what I can do. Have a good one, guys.